Oh, you beautiful people, you are still hanging out with your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Express, so right here on SABC3, giving you that kick start and jump start to your beautiful morning. Now, the public was asking and she listened. Who better to make a how-to video when it comes to face masks than South Africa's Suzelle DIY? Absolutely nobody. Thank you so much for joining us on the line this morning, Suzelle. Thank you so much. I am so excited to be on the show today. So thank you for asking me. And I hope you're doing well, hey? Well, certainly not as excited as I am to see you. How have you been keeping yourself safe during this lockdown, Suzelle? You know what? I've just been channeling my inner creativity. And I'm, I've actually really enjoyed it. Because I'm just spending time at home doing all sorts of creative projects. Oh, gosh. Don't even get me started. So... <laughs> Now, look, it's been a challenge, as we all know, but we're just keeping it together. You know, I think that one of the most hardest working women in the world of DIY has to be you, Suzelle. I mean, here you are collaborating with the Western Cape government and the Premier, Alan Winder, to make a DIY mask-making video. How did this come about? What was the idea behind this? You know what? This is what happened. Alan Windy, hello, he found me on my phone. And immediately I realized that basically the government is phoning me. <laughs> and he just, he explained to me, Suzelle, we need the people to accept this new normal. We're all going to have to be wearing masks. So we got chatting, we had some Zoom calls, and eventually I made a video. And it basically explains how to make three different kinds of face masks. And it's all very easy, hey? Mm. So... What does it help to wear a mask and, you know, how should it fit on your face? Because I always struggle with this. I spend most of my time adjusting my mask because it's always flopping right below my nose. That's the craziest thing. This is the problem that we're having. Your mask must be very well fitted over your face because what's important about wearing a mask is you mustn't fit up. Okay. You okay. mustn't be touching it all the time because that's actually, that's going to defeat the purpose. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Honestly, anyone can get their mask done at home in such easy steps. Let's take a look at your video where you made these three different masks, actually. Okay, great. A lot of people ask me, Suzelle, make us a video on how to make masks for coronavirus. 800 emails. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different kinds of masks. Let's make a DIY no-sew bandana mask. We take our bandana, fold it in half, and we're going to add our extra layer. Fold it up. This stage, I'm just going to give it an iron. Pop on our little elastic loopies. Fold that in. Open this up. Tuck it in. Give it an iron. Hello. Important things to remember about masks, they need to be at least three layers of fabric. The fabric must be very tightly woven. Denim is a very good fabric to make a mask out of. Sorry, Marianne, I've cut the legs of a jeans. I'm gonna take the leg of my jean, put the seam in the middle, then flip it inside like this. Then you tuck in the other side. I'm absolutely dying doing this. Little known fact, I can't touch jeans fabric. A jeans, a pool denim. Oh, get away from me. Okay, breathe, Suzelle. This is for your country. Make it nice and regular in shape. This is a little piece of flannelly cotton. I'm going to pop it inside. In you go, my darling. Make it nice and flat. And then finally, I've got these shoelaces. One side. Okay. So, guys, you can either just wear it like this, but I'm going to sew mine. There, 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 there. Breathe it. Being great anatomy. You will need a nice thick weave cotton, two pieces of elastic, another piece of cotton to slot inside. We're going to start by folding this in half. Right sides together, people. Fold this one in and that one in, like this. I'm going to give it an iron. Now we're going to create some pleats. Over and back. Give it a press. And again, over and back. So we're going to make one little loopy with our elastic. We're going to line it up with the edge. And we fold it back in and we pin it all together. Pin it at the bottom. Then we're going to do the same on this side. Make a little loopy and then we pin this last guy. There's it. Okay guys, you need to sew here, 
and yeah, you can hand stitch it like this, or you just look it on the sewing machine. Easy does it. I sew over pins, guys, and then I always back stitch over the elastic especially, just to make it a little bit stronger. It's important that the one side of pleats and the other side of pleats aren't pleated together. They must be separate. Okay, then the other side, forward stitch, back stitch, forward stitch all the way. Remove the pins, trim your edges and your threads. And turn it the right way round, push out the corners. It opens up like so. Take your extra layer and you're going to place it inside. Just give it a final iron. This can either be a slip-in layer, or if you're a little bit more of an advanced sewer, you can pre-sew it into your pleats before you turn it inside out. There's it. Ta-da! Okay, so now I've got the mask on, Suzelle. I mean, that was very impressive. Uh, what are the steps involved when I want to take my mask off? Because we don't want to be fiddling, right? Right, that's important, okay? So the main thing, we need to remember is before you take your mask off, yeah. wash your hands because you don't know what you've been touching. Wash your hands, then, okay, let me pop my mask on so I can demonstrate, all right? There's it. Yeah. Okay, so if we don't touch the fabric part of the mask, you just take the elastics or the straps mm. and we take it off like that and then you know what to do? You put it straight in the sink. There's it, straight in the sink. Oh. So, water, hot water, and you wash it immediately. And you just hang it on a little lappy there, hang it on a hook yeah. to dry. So you've got a fresh mask when you're ready to go the next time. And what I like to say is have two masks, yeah. because you never know. And the best way to disinfect is once it's dry, you iron it. Okay? Mm. Nice ironing session. It's very therapeutic. Oh, uh, yeah, so. I mean, I've heard that. I've heard that. I mean, these are trendy masks, for example. Uh, friends are going to be asking for them once they see you posting them on social media. But, I mean, can I borrow my friends my mask then? No, no, guys. We don't share masks. Oh. Please, oh. don't share masks. Okay. It's, it's, it's a very personal space, this. So don't <laughs> share masks. Everyone must have their own mask. Suzelle, you are an absolute star. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you so much. Uh, thank you for teaching us the do's and don'ts, Suzelle, of wearing a face mask, as well as showing us how to create three creative, safe, and approved ways to make easy and stunning DIY face masks, of course, in the comfort of your own home and by using materials already in your closet. Keep safe.